Hello, my wonderful spirit guides. Today I am back with my Did You Know That There's a Tunnel Under Ocean Boulevard album reaction, and now I am on song 12 with Let the Light In, which is interesting because obviously in her song Kintsugi, she talks about let, letting the light in, but now there's a song actually called Let the Light In, and it's also featuring Father John Misty, who I've heard good things about, but I've never actually heard of Father John Misty. So yeah, I'll be interested to hear him. I do know that he's quite beloved though. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll find out. If you'd like to see this uncut on Patreon, then links for that will be in the description. Also follow me on Instagram, I shall follow you back. Like, comment, subscribe, all those lovely things. Um, and there's just go check out the description for other things as well. But anyway, let's get into it. Let's go. Pick you up at home, quarter to three. Ask you if you want something to eat Get drunk, do it over again I can never stop, wanna have fun But who can sleep Every time you say you're gonna go I, I love the folky sound to this You know I got nothing under this overcoat are lovely together this is a beautiful song it's actually quite joyous his harmony is lush it's like indie folk this is it's almost like you can imagine it on the radio too this one like it feels like a single yeah saving those high harmonies for the end like one that's gonna be like really really fun to sing along to like all the time you know one that you put on that you really want to sing along to as a really nice structure to the song you know a more of a, a normal structure compared to ones like um well of course fingertips <laughs> where it had no real structure it was just a kind of flow um but no that one had something to it that felt joyous after like some quite deep you know big you know songs that kind of melancholy and so on but that that was just pretty um and really nice with his voice too really different style of voices in the sense that hers has got that like silky oh and he's got kind of a uh, like a nasalier sound, which is awesome. But now I'm going to get into the lyrics. I really did like how full it sounded, though, that one. It had that kind of wedding almost feel to it as well. You can imagine like all the like fairy lights, like the twinkly lights above as like two lovers dancing on like a wooden deck sort of thing. It reminded me of, you know, kiss me out of the beauty party like maybe not as soft though as those parts i mean it was soft but it was fuller than that song but it had that kind of feeling that kind of mm, like you can just sink into and you want to sing along it makes you feel good um but yeah lyrically i, I don't know i'm gonna have a little look obviously i was reading along with it but i'm gonna get in deeper so first of all she says pick you up at home quarter to three ask if you want something to eat drive around, get drunk, do it all over again. So it seems like she's picking someone up, don't know who that is. She often says you or they, but never really like, well, she does mention names, but sometimes you don't know who she's talking about. It just seems like she's saying, it's a chill life at the end of the day. Pick you, like, pick you up at home, quarter to three, like quarter to three in the afternoon. Like it feels like you've just been kind of 
not had to rush to get ready. You just kind of like, you know, having your day and you go pick up your friend or whatever. Ask if you want something to eat, you know, maybe go to a cafe or a restaurant, go get something to eat, drive around, get drunk and do it over again. Maybe do it the next day too, you know, just living a life of like being quite relaxed, I guess, and having drinks and having fun. And actually it's got me excited because I'm going out with a couple friends on Saturday and I haven't actually seen like my friends a lot recently. Um, well, with the winter, I, I do like to isolate, but um, you know, it's, it's getting to April now. So <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go get some food, have some drinks. I was like, just hearing those lines, I was like, mm, sounds so cozy, I'm so excited. Then she says, wake you up at night, quarter to one. I can never stop, wanna have fun. Don't be acting like I'm the kind of girl who could sleep. You know, that's cool. It's like, so the first bit seems all pretty wholesome, you know, like get drunk and do it over again. Like it seems pretty cool. But then wake up at night, quarter to one, it's like, she's saying like, you know, I the fun doesn't stop. I don't go home and then just go to sleep and, sleep off the alcohol and wait for the next day. No, I've got to keep having fun. Like I, I'm chasing that dopamine. <laughs> and then she's like, don't be acting like I'm the kind of girl who can sleep. To me, in the first bit, it sounds like, you know, it's all cozy and wholesome. But then like the don't be acting like I'm the kind of girl who can sleep is, is always saying like, don't be thinking I'm that wholesome. Don't be thinking I'm that sensible. No, if I have a drink, I want to be uh, drinking and you know going all night really yeah i'm not sure but it, i don't know it just sounds fun it just and also it's just giving us a personal detail like you know don't be acting like she's not even saying don't be thinking she's saying don't act like i'm the kind of girl that can sleep you know you know i'm the kind of girl that doesn't sleep i i stay up all night my i'm a very active person in my brain i'm constantly thinking creating or whatever so you know this is what i'm like so you can't like fault me for it or you know be mad at it um, this bit here, she says, because every time you say you're going to go, I just smile because, babe, I already know, you know, I got nothing under this overcoat. It's like she's saying, you're not leaving because you know. Like, it's like she knocks on his door. Or, I think it's about a guy at this point. You know, she knocks on his door and she's like, got this overcoat on and it's like that kind of rom-com movie where they've got like the, you know, no clothes on underneath, you know um and she's saying like I just smile because you're not gonna go because you know that you will not be able to because you she knows that he'll give in to the temptation and she smiles because it's like kind of like flattering and makes her feel good she's like <laughs> she like manipulated him a little bit but in like a cute way obviously it's just a bit of fun if you look at it literally of course there could also be something more I don't know, maybe um, metaphoric about it. Maybe it could be a bit more like, um, I've got nothing on under this overcoat because she could be saying like, I'm naked for you, as in my soul is naked. I'm, I'm open to, you know, be open with you. I don't know, but I think it's more literal. I don't know. Uh, and then she says, oh, let the light in with Father John Misty at your back door yelling because I want to come in. Oh, turn your light on. Look at us, you and I back at it again. It's almost like this bit is like, it's loving, but it's also like, it's, it's sad too because she's like, oh, let the light in, you know, like let the light in again. Talk about those cracks, you know, the broken pieces of her and like let the light in and it you know making it happier but then she's like at your back door yelling because I want to come in like let me in it's in quarter you know past one in the morning in her overcoat nothing on probably a little bit tipped like let me in you know and then turn your light on literally like just turn your light on just so you come back down those stairs and let me in and then you know she goes in and she's like look at us you and I back at it again because this happens all the time as like kind of stated in the first verse kind of like it being like a repetitive thing that happens over and over again um so that's interesting but he's a bit like this guy's obviously a bit like oh, for god's sake but she's like come on <laughs> come on you know you like me <laughs> verse two pick you up around quarter to two so we're getting it it's getting a bit earlier in the day now usually we got nothing to do screw it maybe you should go and record some of your songs Got my dress on tight, cause you know that I look shining in the light. There's so much riding on this life and how we write, and how we write a love song. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, first of all, pick up round quarter to two. Yeah, a bit earlier in the day, still the afternoon though. Um, but maybe she wants to see him even sooner. Maybe the love is getting deeper, so she wants to see him sooner. You know what I mean? Usually we've got nothing to do, so they just 
chill, do whatever, really. And screw it, maybe we'll go record some of your songs. So she's, you know, stating that this person is a musician who she's talking about. And she says, I've got my dress on tight, you know, because you know that I look shining in the light. So, you know, she she's just saying she looks, again, like kind of sexy. And she obviously wants this man to be attracted to her. Um, and she's saying, you know, I look shining in the light. You know, she knows that this guy finds her attractive. And then she says, there's so much riding on this life. And when I when I heard riding, straight away, I just thought of ride. I don't know why. I know it's different, but I just thought of ride because this song, I guess, gave me that, like, kind of a little bit of, like, freedom in it that ride has. But obviously, it does not like ride, but whatever. She says, there's so much riding on this life and how we write a love song. Um, I like that. It's like, you know, there's so much. So when you say riding on this life, it's like, oh, there's a lot of oh, hard. Oh, God, sometimes I find it so hard to think of things on the spot when it's like this like I've got so much oh how do I explain that you know when you've got like I've got so much riding on this uh house or like you know on my job or something and it means because like you've got bills to pay you've got family to feed you've got like you know it means you've got a lot of responsibilities I think is how I'm trying to say it I don't know why I get so like confused sometimes I think I talk so fast and like they don't don't, don't give myself time to think you hear like I stutter as well ah, I need to like chill I just get excited <laughs> Okay, there's so much riding on this life, you know, there's like a lot of responsibilities, there's a lot that like could go wrong if I don't do life right, basically. And how we write a love song, something that isn't as deep, you know, like uh, a love song, it's a song, your life is a lot more like, oh my god, there's so much riding on this life, it's a big thing, but and how we write a love song, it's not or, or, you know, it's not like the opposite, it is one and the same. Both are difficult. I feel like I'm explaining this so badly. I don't know how to come back from it. <laughs> anyway, it feels like she's saying, oh, you know, people will judge how I write a love song. At the end of the day, that's what I just feel like she's saying. She's feeling like how you write a love song, it feels like people will judge and critique it and be like, mm, it's not really a love song if you talk about this, that or the other. But I guess she's trying to say, yeah, but love means something different to everyone. And this is her type of love song, I guess. This is the way she wants to write it. But there's a little bit there that she's going, oh, there's a lot riding on this. People probably will judge it, but who cares? Okay, so I think that's where I'm getting out with it. And of course, let's not forget that she has a song called Love Song on NFR. Oh my God, why do I always forget the lyrics on the spot as well? Oh my God, what is wrong with me? <laughs> I hate this. I feel like so horrible when I get like this because I'm like, I want to be like perfect and just get it all out. And then suddenly I'm like, oh, everything's gone scrambled. But yeah, obviously NFR has a song Love Song too. And, you know, she always talks about how like all the things they do kind of accumulate and it becomes their love song their like love endeavor is their love song sort of thing like that too I hope that made sense I'm gonna try and be a bit more oh, my hair's annoying me like this I feel silly <laughs> oh no everything's getting on top of me <laughs> I look so funny with the glasses and the hair I feel like ugly Betty or something that'll do okay anyway I had a day off yesterday, so I guess I'm being weird. Right, anyway. Then she says, oh, let the light in at your back door yelling because I want to come in. She says all that again. Then, and the bridge, she says, because I love to love to love to love you. And I love to love and I love to love. Why? Oh, music to watch boys to, sorry. Isn't it in F My Way Up to the Top as well? I don't know, maybe not live to love you and I love to love you and I live to love you. Bye. Yeah. Putting on my music while I'm watching the boys. That's cool. Okay, cool. Yeah. I knew I recognised it. But then she says, I hate to hate, to hate, to hate you. You know, she's like, she loves to love this person, but she hates hating them. But sometimes, but that just shows that sometimes she does hate them, you know, being like, I hate it. I hate to hate you, but sometimes it happens. And then she says, put the Beatles on, light the candles, go back to bed. 
because I wanna, wanna, wanna want you. I need to, need to, need to need you. Put the TV on, the flowers in a vase, lie your head. Oh, that's interesting. Put the Beatles on, so obviously something they love, like the candles go back to bed, you know. Let's not fight, let's not argue. Maybe let's just like get intimate and love each other and, you know, forget that there's any pain or anything. Because I wanna, wanna want you, need to, need to need you. You know, I want to want you, I need to need you, like, I, I want all of you, I want all of this. Um, put the TV on, the flowers in a vase, lie your head. And maybe the flowers could represent like him, an, an apology, you know, like being like, okay, I forgive you. Cause he, she's got flowers and she's like, put them in a vase, lie your head. I forgive you because I want you, something like that. And um, also I love reading like bits of the genius, like quotes and annotations and so on because I find it interesting but I'm trying not to do it as much just because it can influence my opinion and of course I love reading them but I like I will read it at times where I feel like I really need to but um I want I just want this to be my reaction my first interpretation if you know what I mean so yeah but I do love reading them I do and obviously I know that some of the people that write them watch my videos which makes me really happy well because it really helps me out and it's just sweet yeah it's nice okay and then it goes to the chorus again cute but then there's a whole about section bit here as well. So this bit I will read. A potential interpretation of the song follows the concept of the female singer having an affair with the male singer. The male singer being married or in a long-term relationship while the female singer is single. I really didn't get anything from, like I didn't at all think of anything like that, if that makes sense, like that, that it being a kind of an affair situation in this song, I didn't really pick up on anything like that. Um, maybe I missed something or maybe I don't know anyway the song opens with the female singer wanting to pick him up at quarter to three and also wake him up at quarter to one in the middle of the night this adds a suggestion of secrecy in the song where the two singers have to love in private the female singer has to come through the back door oh that makes sense too because she even said in um a and w uh, about the back door, didn't she like come to you in the back door, just want you to hold me, I'm invisible, all that bit. So that does make sense. Actually, I'm starting to understand this now. Ooh, so yeah, it's not really a conventional love song, but um, she kind of said that too, you know, it's their love song. Interesting. Adding to the notion of the private relationship. By the end of the song, the female singer admits to wanting more than this affair, wanting to have a more domestic and traditional life with the singer. She wants to let the light in on their relationship, either asking for the male singer to do this or potentially asking who let the light in, in reference to their relationship getting exposed. Oh, that's cool. Very interesting. Wow, that adds a, another little oh, bit of flavour to it, but... Uh, but what's good about it, you can listen to it in two ways. You can listen to it in Lana's way or you can listen to it in a sweet way. And I like that, like, which is, you know, because it's not so sweet in Lana's way, just like if it is to do with uh, an affair, because that's quite painful. And like, obviously, I do not condone anyone having an affair with anyone who's in a relationship, but shit happens sometimes and things go down like that. And obviously she realises what have I done because she wants something that's actually more traditional. She wants something that is good for her. Um, and sometimes she just can't help who you fall in love with. But yeah, but she's open enough to sing about it. And I think that's pretty, pretty cool, actually. Hmm. Interesting. But anyway, uh, I shall see you in the next video where I'll be reacting to Margaret Feet Bleachers. But yes. I shall see you next time. Bye.